previously. Naomi. Naomi. Dumbass, what the hell are you doing? And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We haven't played this in a while, so here we are. Yeah. Um, do I have any extras that I haven't done? Give me one lines. No. Okay. Cool. What chapter was I on? Four? Ooh, I missed something. Oh, the endings. That's right. Okay. Chapter four. Let's, uh... Let's, let's do this. Chapter four. Let's go. Mm, what happened recently? The dude killed someone. Read the chapter four opening. Yes. <sighs> Coming out, you. I'll wash your back. I can wash it myself, you know. What are you hiding under your hands there, little man? There are no secrets in this bathroom. Come on, don't. <coughs> ha ha ha. Take this, and this, and this. What are you doing? Come here, you little cutie pie. Stop it, come on. Gotcha. Ah. Jeez, why do you have to be like that? <laughs> you know, sis. Hmm? Sometimes you really are like a mom. Really think so? You're such a sweetie. I didn't mean it like that. You've really grown up, you. Always thinking about your big sis's feelings. You're still young, you know. Too young to act like such a grown-up. You should stop worrying about me and just keep on being a kid. <laughs> Aw, you're crying. See, you really are still a kid. Ah, want some of Mama's milk? That's not even possible. Don't be a perv. You... You're such a good kid. Don't ever change, okay? I hope you stay like this forever. <laughs> Sis is really late getting home today. She said Dad had a surprise for us, too. Said she'd help me get ready for it. I wonder how much longer she'll be. Ah! Man, are we having a typhoon or something? Such weird weather. Corpse party. Chapter four. She'd do anything for me. But I still love her with all my heart. And I also can't see what the hell I'm doing. Mayu? Mayu? 
What is it, Mom? I'm running late. I can't see anything. Your last day at Kasaragi. Make sure you say your goodbyes and have lots of fun with your friends, okay? I will. I'm so sorry about this. All because your father got transferred. Birth. It's okay. I'll be fine. I wish your father would have objected more strongly. But he said there was nothing he could do about it. And since he didn't object either, I swear, that man doesn't give his family any consideration. All he thinks about is work. Well, I gotta run. Bye. I... I just want my mom and dad to get along. Oh. Hello. Huh? W where am I? Why am I by myself? And why am I crying? Shig, bro, you there? Miss Yue? Shinazaki? I was just in the classroom with everybody, taking down the festival decorations. Sorry, my eye itches. God, where even is this? Where? What? No, no, please. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it, Mayo. Don't succumb to panic. Take a deep breath. Try to think of a charm or something to get you through this. <sighs> That's it. Shinazaki's charm. The one we all did, so we'd be friends forever. Wait, it's, it's gone? It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. My Sachiko left her after. Her paper scrap. Gone. Is it because I didn't put it away before the earthquake? I couldn't bear to, but I had it in my hand. I know I did. This sucks. What happened after that? Uh, my stomach is in bad shape, too. This stress always gives me indigestion. <laughs> what? Where are they? They went in that room. Maybe I should have a look. Haven't I already played all this? Ugh. Ugh, my head. Where am I? Ugh. I'm in the main building. Wake from a bad dream and find myself in another. Damn it! Okay. Should I go in here? Is that what you want me to do? There's a candle in here, right? Yeah. Holy fucking shit. <sighs> Stupid things moving by themselves. Oh. Uh... Okay. Let's see. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait. Yes. I knew I've done all this before. We can load. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I need the V tape. Where am I supposed to go? I guess I'll find out. Oh, Naomi. Um, that's right. I met up with Naomi. I should have watched my other video before this. Um, remember them cry because we can't go home anymore. That's lovely. Diary. Um, no water. Okay, do I leave? I guess I leave. Uh, 
someone seemed to have vomited and lost control of their bowels here. Lovely. I hate this. Uh, it seems unlocked, but it won't open more than a tiny sliver. Here's a, as if someone or something is holding a shut from the other side. Lovely. Okay. Staircase. Alright. It's the body of Seiko. Next one squeezed into an hourglass shape with a deep crimson rope burning in the center. Shinohara. I... Then why are you dead up here? Ba ba ba. Ah, door is shut and locked. There's no indication that anyone's inside. Is she gonna come to life and kill me? I certainly hope not. Ah, there's two ropes now. I forgot how creepy this damn game is. It's part of the reason I didn't really play it. But, I mean... You haven't moved. I guess you just sit there. Okay. Alright, well, back down I go. I don't know where the hell I'm going. But I guess I'm gonna go be chased by someone. <sighs> Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually you'll kill one another. God damn it, my phone scared me. Okay, down this way I go then. Are you awake yet? No? Okay. Well, fuck. Mm hmm. The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. It's not here. Why is there a wall here? There was a whole other building. What the hell is going on? Yuka! Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? I don't like that noise. He's on me. Ben said elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. I've seen this too. Am I like a chapter ahead? Oh yeah, this is when he kills the hamster. So what are we going to do with it? Hey, look how cute he is. You want to take care of him? You're kidding, right? That smelly thing? Huh? So, what then? Something really special. Wait, and you'll see. It's like nothing else. The end of a life. The very moment of death. Come on, give it here. This box cutter should do the trick. Huh? What? What are you... Are you stupid? Why would you do that? Watch closely now. Yuya, yeah. what do you think you're doing? It's because I'm his sister. Nothing. You're nothing, me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet, so I'm not wrong when I say nothing now, am I? Stupid. Are you for real? You think that no one. Li you know, realize that no one likes a smart ass, right? You better pull that sass mouth or you'll grow up to be even more of a good for nothing than. I don't know. Because I'm going to give him here. I swear. I don't know how we can put up with you. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyways? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. Sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier than thou fucking uh, sister and my fucking retard of a brother. 
If I had a little sister of my own. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. Hmm? Oh shit. What the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Body inside is too near the stall. Every time I try and open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. That's quite a stench. Ew. Seems like a pretty modern design, similar to what a lot of girls in my class use for being trapped in here for a while. I wonder how the owner's face must have looked through the last time she checked this thing out. A lot of red, dried blood stains. Wait, what was in this one? Compact mirror. Okay. Body inside is too near the stall. Student ID name tag on the floor outside. Okay then. Great many lives ended in this room. Kazami has gone off the deep end even more than before. Poor little Yuko. With all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. Well then. Shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> Sure is cold. Where did Mr. Miss Shishido and Kishinuma go anyway? Well, even by myself, I'm scared, you know. Maybe I should try going back to room 1A. If I stay in the other school building for too long, my head's gonna really start pounding. Hmm. Um, hello. No, no more. Red dress? Her photo was in that article, so I guess she's one of the victims. Stupid fly, go away. Treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Hachibana's journey for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea, but I might never be able to again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Uh, senior high school student, name tag required. Okay. We'll head to 1A. Is it this way? Or is it this way? Um Let's go this way. What the fuck? The antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Yeah. Torn piece of paper on the ground, top half of an article. Hmm? What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? I mean, maybe? 
Small piece of paper on the ground. Read it. Tenji Public Relations. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Host Elementary's pub Principal Takami Nagahori. Holy hell. It's been a while since I've said those. Ground was broken for ten gens minute shul heavenly host elementary school building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town as no elementary school had stood within ten gens borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class, so for them in particular, heavenly host truly was a godsend. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takami Yanagahori. Yanagihori quickly became popular among the locals for his charismatic personality, his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even a general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yanagi Hori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Hosts became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day with the incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. This paper torn is at this point, the bottom half of the article is missing. Interesting. Mm. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right, then. There's scissors. There's a spirit here. Back away slowly. Stop. You can't let his gaze meet yours. All right. All right. I'm leaving. I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. All right. Well, back to 1A then. Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled like one of those toy Micah doll telephones, but definitely closer. It's the damn doll. It's making noise again. Why are you crying, doll? Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room, if you think there's something nearby, press the exam key. Never give up. Though the floor has clearly collapsed previously, the gap seems to have mysteriously closed up on its own and it feels completely solid. Okay. Is this the... yeah. This is the room with this. When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain and suffering you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. Your soul will never be released from misery. That's lovely. Ah, uh, okay. This is worth a shot. Do, 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 do. Why are you crying, doll? Oh my. Crumbled up piece of paper. Well, Yuma, I guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion is setting in, so it looks like this is the end of the road. My classmate, Tom Tomoe Mizuki, climbed the fence around the outer walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now. She still hasn't come back. All the while, I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing but a jawline. I have not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrist, so I'm in no condition to keep running. But I keep hearing this snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or just ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with, so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off, child like. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Hello, angry spirit. It hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts. Now and always. Okay. I can't go this way. Can I get by you, please? Thank you. What's this direction? This is where the uh, custodian's classroom is. Door is locked. TV noises. Okay. And there's nothing down there. All right. 
Ooh. Let me through, damn it. Okay. Congratulations on your arrival. Our most heartfelt blessings we offer to thee. We'll be anxiously awaiting your death, and once everyone's dead, that's when we'll be able to meet again. And then the conquest begins. And then prepare for the skeleton war. Oh, that's lovely. Hey, kid. A lot of your middle school or whoever it is seems to have died just mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Lovely. Yo, your candle. All right. I feel like I should walk around a little bit more before I go back to the classroom. What? Ow. Yumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand were cut wide open. Uh, it's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday too. Great timing, huh? Trying to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. Um, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Let me do this real quick. And I'm gonna push the video forward. So you don't have to wait here for long. Mm.
Okay. I'm back. Let's, uh, keep walking. Was this barricaded before? I don't remember. Oh my. Okay, Ayumi doesn't like that. I understand. It's not like you're going to be rescued after all. We already tried everything we could to get out. We're exhausted every possibility. We might live another few days, maybe even a week or two if you tough it out. But can you stand to live that long with nothing to eat? Nothing to drink? No change of clothes? Dying is just a whole lot easier. So come on, join us. We're all waiting for you. It might even be fun. There's so many ways to die. Just imagine the possibilities. But don't tarry. We're waiting after all. Waiting to welcome you. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Naho? Senoki? Hey. What are you doing here? You're a liar. Liar, liar. The child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back Suzumoto. I said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Kishinuma. You okay, Shinazaki? Here's the one to ask. What on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. <laughs> well, as soon as you turned that corner before, I got stuck in the noggin by some big dude with a giant hammer. I'm fine, though. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. And at some point, the chains binding my legs together got loosened. Not sure how, but the second I noticed, I just bolted. Do you know where you were? Not really, it's all kind of ha hazy. I think I passed out again after a while. When I came to, I was in the first floor hallway. No clue how I got there. So, did somebody carry you? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I could take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah. I am not mistaken. If each of the shut up spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then the closed spaces, given their shape by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them heal their killer's regrets, though, and it did nothing to help us. The man with the hammer who attacked you, he was their murderer. You serious? It seems he's got a violent streak even in death. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? Based on my inventor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hand should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? My personal affairs are none of your concern. What's happening? Oh shit. Sorry about that. <coughs> you need to find that man's body, or his remains, at any rate. They should be in the school building somewhere, and if you find them and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. Miss Senoki? Oh. What the hell was that about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's as good a place to start as any. Earlier, I was passing through the first floor and the door started cry crying, like, weeping loudly. Seriously? Let me tell you, I shouldn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you've got. Guy would have guy was a lousy aim. But he still hit my head full force with a hammer. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Dang child killer. You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing the wound. Part of your prop closet, I take it. Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> Okay. Record my progress? Yes. 
Yay, reunited and it feels so good. Shelves covered with very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. One book is sticking out further than the others, as if begging to be perused. Circum circumnavigating the ancient world. Read it. Yeah. The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon a clock face with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully 12 times 12 notches. Beginning with the rat affixed due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac should be labeled clockwise around the timepiece compass. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and then rat. For ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with both its zodiac sign and its hour on the clock. North is both the rat and 12. East is the rabbit, east by southeast is the dragon. This is the basis of circumnavigating within the ancient world. Alright, I learned something today. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping and murder. Read it. I've already read it. Yeah. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had the tongue severed and removed in unique mutilations far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Okay. Mm, well, we're not going that way, are we? And they have elementary notice to all faculty and students. Yep, okay. The message you wrote previously is still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. Oh yeah. So glad we find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forever. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there was meaning in our lives because we are fortunate enough to find soulmates, to find one another among all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and fathers take heart, we died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous furthermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you, but one day we'll meet again. Okay. Idiots, there's no getting to heaven from here. Here's they died hand in hand and their bleached white buzz are still holding hands even now. Hmm. Bully again. Lever's stuck and won't budge. There does seem to be space for it to go down one more notch with the mechanism as locked as a tiny particularly shaped keyhole in its base. You scared the hell out of me, Selena. Alright. Hey. Oh, I still can't get down there. Okay, because I'm incapable of moving a chair. The bucket's not here in this one. Crumpled up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all this. The children are victims too. Oh, yeah. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our one true enemy. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Back down to the first floor, I guess. Should save. Okay. Good. From red door six steps, horse thirteen paces, rooster. From red door, huh? Red door, six steps horse. Is that left or down? Is rooster east? One, two, three, four. 
I can't walk that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four. Maybe this red door. One, two, three, four, five. No. Two, three, four, five, six. I can't walk around that way. Two. Hmm. That's six four thirteen rooster, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Try and pull it out. Yeah. With a bit of fidgeting, you're able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 3-5 Ryu Yoshizawa. What's going to be inside, I wonder? Here, have a look. No way, I'm not touching that thing. You look. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. What? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. Eek. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Oh, that's lovely. Return it. Return it. This name tag. It's a boy's name. It must be the ghost of the little boy. Shinazaki. What do we do with it? Ugh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Are you out of your mind? Acquired Rio's tongue. Lovely. Cool. That's great. You have anything to say about the spirit? No? Okay. Good talking to you. Ugh. How are you, Blue Spirit? Okay. Do, 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 do. Gross. All right, I guess let's go give the tongue back. Not in the right place. <sighs> okay, and this direction. Little boy, I have a tongue for you. There you go. Do you want the tongue or not? Little boy? Okay. I guess that's a no. Ah, this was a bad idea. I have a tongue for you. Ryo Yoshi Yoshizawa. That's right. I know your name. Show him the tongue? Yeah. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize for what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them to a horrible place like this, and killing them, you killed our dear friend. I can never forgive you for that. Shinizaki. But this is yours. It's part of your body, so I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over, Rio Sung. My tongue. My tongue. Thank you, Miss. Mm. 
Because everything is shaking. What what's going on? Damn it, another earthquake? You've gotta be kidding me. I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, I need to go check on Naomi. Girl in red dress. Hey, you, wait. Naomi first, girl later. I'm worried about Naomi being by herself. Door is locked. What? I know I left this door unlocked. It feels like something on the other side is pushing against it to keep me from getting in. Naomi, are you in there? If that's you, open the door, please. There's no answer. Is it someone else? Maybe she went back to see Seiko? Naomi, you better be up here. Naomi? You in the bathroom? God damn it. Naomi? Where the fuck did she go? Naomi. The fuck? I don't want to be chasing you around this creepy ass school today. Let me in. Yes. No luck. The more I push, the more the door pushes back. It seems like someone's in there holding it shut. Okay. Well, fuck. I guess let's go follow the girl in the red dress. Mom, me. Hello. She didn't have like the shakiness of the lettering and contents of the mem memorandum. memorandum suggests that its writer was on the verge of death well before a pen touched paper and he wanted so badly. I'm hungry, but I can deal with the hunger. It's the thirst I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Shitoshi Matsubara, he tried drinking that filthy tap water from the sink in the bathroom, but he threw it up almost immediately and it burned his chest and his throat so badly he wound up dying. I tried to think outside the box, even go as so far as to drink my own spit, but needless to say, it doesn't help matters one bit. My tongue's so swollen at this point, I can't even talk. Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here. If only I could have found a way to gather some of that rainwater, Satoshi might still be alive. It's almost as if someone's playing a cold joke on me, showing me more water than I've ever seen before, but putting it just out of my reach. Somebody wrote that there's a whole other wing at the school, accessed through an outdoor walkway, but I never found it. It's a last resort, I'm willing to try drinking my own blood. My name is He... Demasa Kojimi, an 11th grader in class 2-4 at Emazaki West High. If anyone's reading this, this ever makes it out of here alive, please tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be a missing person for the rest of his life. I hate the idea of him always wondering where I went or if I'm even still alive. It seems to continue, but the rest of it is completely drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. Alright. Custodian's Closet... Hello, Red Spirit. Kill, curse, hurt, sister, hate. What is this? Something on cell phones lying on the ground. Pick it up. Yeah. Acquired psycho cell phone. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seems to be in the middle of texting someone. She dropped her phone. The text entry is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. Let me in. Fine. Only 
way to go is in here. Five A. Sparkles on the ground. Uh, it's one of these. I wonder if he's going to say something if I go back in the other way. Okay. Well, I tried that. So where the fuck do I go? Did I miss something completely? <sighs> Can't go down there. I guess I go back up here. Yo, Naomi, where were you? Satoshi, please don't leave me in here alone like that. Sorry, I was looking out for Yuka. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No, the corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find another way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka Mosh Morishigi and I were in is different from this one. We need to find some other way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier, but some kind of black shadowy mist, so I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. Are you serious? I'm really sorry about that, then. Don't worry about it, but there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. But I gotta save. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go get whatever that shiny purple thing is on the floor. And then I think I'm gonna call it quits after that because I've been recording for like an hour. No? Okay. Do, 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 do. Mommy. All right, shiny purple thing. Okay, you stay there. I'll be right back. Help me now, grab it. Okay, got it. Wired custodian's key. Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out we needed what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Y yeah. really dark over here. But now I'm curious. I gotta go in the custodian's closet. Yeah, use the key. You gotta know what's going on. Got the Tommy mats on the floor. There's TV static. Oh shit. Who turned out the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Oh, it's something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Um... Found it. Whew, thanks. Man, it sinks in here, and it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. It's a door here that wasn't here earlier. It's a video eight camcorder laying on top of the TV. The cassette deck is empty. The batteries also seem to have run out. However, the LCD display isn't turning on. Something recent, this recent doing in a place this old. Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Fortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of battery, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. Oh. 
A magazine article here from the publication called Strange But True Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up of a previous report. Read it. Um, yeah. Strange But True Stories of the Occult. Chasing Down the Hidden Past of the Cursed School Building follow-up by Kokobiki. Let's talk a bit more about Yushiki Yanagihori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takami Yanagihori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But when illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave away to pure instinct, he was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of his illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had become reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the periods ended, and he would begin wailing more freely. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshisaki, Yoshikazu, sorry, reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yanagihori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes nor even properly discuss them with the authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sanchiko, Sanchiko Shinozaki, age 7. In the search of the truth behind the land, less scientific afflictions that this incident spurred, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of the mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Shichiko best as a girl with a strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone who, someone so young forced to watch other children her age be tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinazaki and, and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Oh, we're back here. I'm impressed, Shinazaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of, my, out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. Fuck. Ah, what the hell? Not on my shirt. Did I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you, two? Ugh, that's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this. Shinazaki. Alright, now we can save. Is this the same? I've already read this. Oh, I, d d d d d d I said don't read. Uh, okay. Awesome. Alright, well that does it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Whatever you Decide to Make. Peanut signing out.